and all the time, and never knew in the house of the Lord. So I have three boys and one girl. When I lost my husband, I had to change my house to a house that I could afford. It was an old house. So my boys used to live in the boys' quarter, and I lived in the main house with my girls. After every devotion and the boys go to their room, I always go there and see that they are in bed before I leave to drive away mosquitoes because we didn't even have mosquito nets, so we didn't end up. This fateful night, I didn't go to check my boys. After devotion, I just went to bed. I was living with my mom. Early as 5 a.m., I got my mom crying. I used to live in the around PHS, below the girls' dormitory. My mom was shouting, I will not see it. I will not see it. I was running and going up the girls' dormitory. I got up. I was trying to call her to ask what was happening. I saw that the room in which my boys were sleeping, the wall had collapsed and covered the bed. You know how an African, a frustrated African woman can shout. <laughs> he shouted. I shouted aloud that all my three boys are gone. My neighbor, a certain time, the master from Bambalam, who was my close neighbor, he heard from the house with the wife, they got off. As they were running and coming towards my house, that is what is it? I said, Oh, my boys are gone. My boys are gone. Then I spied the master who was shouting and coming. All my three boys, they used to go and play cards in my master's house. They played cards there that night and slept there. I didn't know my children were not in the house. I didn't know. So as my master was crying and coming, my children were crying and coming to get a man the master. And they had to call somebody to run and catch my old mom from up the hill. And behold, all those three boys are alive. And they are all here with me. That is the goodness of the Lord I say. And so anyway, I go this testimony. When I give it all the time, I have some tears with that tears of joy because the, the children are all alive. Amen. So I turn to my junior sister, my name is because she's a junior sister in the widowhood. That's my childhood friend. I said, keep on. Because when the Lord takes one, he empowers, he doubles your power. I'm here the power that I have. I've been a widow for the 20, next year will be my 25th year. Just because I got married to Jesus, the power that I have, Nobody can dare me because of Jesus. Thank you.